So I want to put all the rumors to bed. <laughs> I am hilarious. I'm funny. I, I, how do people hate me? I'm so funny. Now you probably know who Andrew Tate is. He's the guy who told you two years ago to breathe air. Whoever smokes is a pussy, but then turns out to be smoking shishas multiple times a day. Well, the difference is, I never told you to breathe air. You can breathe double apple, grape mint, double mint, whatever you want. I just never told you. He thinks sitting in the war room, no shirt on, sunglasses, smoking his shisha, calling people homosexuals is a gangster thing to do. But you know what's a real gangster thing to do? An invention that I had two years ago where you put this inside your shirt and you play the game or search or watch anything you want. You know what's another gangster thing to do according to... Andrew Tate, put your own picture as your wallpaper. Every morning, wake up, look at yourself and be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> now, if you're not aware of how Andrew Tate absolutely destroyed his reputation in people's eyes, people saw what kind of a hypocrite he is and they just stopped supporting him. Let me quickly Sonny V2 this shit for you. Coffeezilla, two years ago, he made a video about the Hustlers University, which goes by the name of Real World right now, where people paid the Tate Brothers $49 a month to escape the Matrix and become trillionaires to buy, you know, 100 Bugattis. Because the shit Andrew Tate teaches you, it is one of a kind, and you cannot find the same lesson anywhere else. When I first joined Hustleversity, I thought, it's gotta be different, right? It's, it, to have this many people paying every month, they have to have things that you just can't learn for free, right? Wrong. Once again, I'm disappointed because I joined this month and have been going through the classes, which is basically all of the same boring topics all of these guys teach about making money. It's all the most surface level stuff. He assigns a so-called professor to each skill and all of this all takes place inside of Discord servers. And so in these chat rooms where your instructors have a fraction of the charisma of Tate, you're supposed to commit yourself to these skill sets, which are super surface level because of course, this all appeals to the lowest common denominator men who think answers can come from TikTok videos. And this is where it starts to hit you as you're scrolling through Discord threads that this kind of was all a big bait and switch. I mean, think about it. You've been told you're gonna escape the matrix. You're gonna take the red pill. But what you end up doing in this course is sort of learning how to run an Amazon side hustle for Jeff Bezos. Like, no offense, you're not breaking the matrix. You work for the richest guy in the world. Coffeezilla who exposes scammers for living, he did a whole investigation on that and Tate didn't really like that. Then Coffeezilla went after Logan Paul, he liked that. Coffeezilla who actually kind of respected and thought had a brain. But then Coffeezilla came back, made a U-turn, and came back to Andrew Tate when he said before that he will never do crypto. There is no win-win in crypto. There's always going to be the top people who are always going to win. And the guys below are always going to lose. It is a lose-lose situation if you just want to start. I have nothing to do with any cryptos whatsoever, and I'll tell you why. Because in crypto, it's impossible for someone to win without somebody else losing. I'm never allowed to crypto. I just like to f*** with crypto Twitter. Because crypto Twitter are full of the biggest degenerate losers on the planet. They're losers. Crypto is the only scenario I can think of where you can make a whole bunch of money while benefiting society zero. But then he just went over his word and is like, you know what? Everyone's crypto is absolutely a scam. But when I make a crypto, all of you will make money because I know how the game works because I'm the most famous person in the world. Coffeezilla sent multiple questions towards Mr. Tate and Mr. P Tate responded in a two minute video. Coffeezilla is a bitch. Now Coffeezilla had some pretty good questions as we went over it in the last video. And not only Tate called him the B word, called him like a homosexual multiple times told them that i am the top g you do not get to question the top g do not even look into my eyes look down and kiss my feet you know who i am i am built different honestly i don't blame him for saying these things this is the side effects of having your own picture as your wallpaper he even leaked coffeezilla's email and said that anyone who goes and just you know harass him i'm going to be buying more daddy daddy is his uh, meme coin that he launched more coins so you know your coin will be worth even more and this is the part where I realized that, okay, Andrew is not backed up like he used to be. Because only 800 emails, according to Coffeezilla's video, only 800 emails were sent to Coffeezilla in this situation. And another thing I want to talk about is Andrew kept on calling, you know, this guy, the G word, the homosexual word. And I saw a comment in Coffeezilla's latest video where he, where he dropped. Someone said, he seems to be obsessed with calling other people gay. Meanwhile, he used to catfish men into sending him money by messaging them sexually and 
you know, super investing into the coin called daddy. Yes, it is true. Andrew admitted to everyone in a podcast that he used to pretend like he used to be one of the cam girls that, you know, the empire that he was running back in the day. He used to pretend to be them and he used to chat sexually with men. So I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I am built different. Now, CoffeeZilla yesterday dropped on his main channel titling exposing andrew tate's crypto grift he went over very good points setting the fact that he says that you know corn is ruining this generation this is the matrix matrix doing this you need to escape the matrix and all that shit and coffeezilla exposed them that you are the matrix because you used to run you know run a webcam uh, company empire and used to expose men with these type of content the whole thing feels like a movie with a lot of plot twists just like the movie oblivion with tom cruise where you know we are the good guys we're trying to defend and save earth shut up we are not the good guys and especially after saying in multiple interviews like i showcased in the last video about andrew tate where he says that crypto is a bad thing i would never promote crypto to my fans i don't want to scam my audience literally the evidence is everywhere and then he comes out and he says because i'm super famous i will make you all money because i don't want to only win i want everyone to win and once everyone win you're going to call me daddy for the rest of your life and i just hit everyone like a truck that he was telling these things telling the young youth what they want to hear the girl left them the, they're stuck at a nine to five job he tells them the obvious things the things they want to hear the motivational things and you know people just believe it and people he becomes likable in that case he promotes his real world situation people pay him for 49 dollars a month and he makes seven to eight figures a month from that business alone now coffeezilla also talked about the other meme coins over the past year that he was promoting and there was this was part of his question as well what happened to these things because they all dropped more than 90 percent once everyone bought it a lot of promises were made but it just disappeared and no one's talking about it anymore just like any other crypto meme scammer who just scammed people once it died they never talked about it so it was forbidden to talk about these things we're gonna look at the coins that andrew and his brother promoted and see what kind of fixing they got up to starting with roost honestly this is your textbook ponzi coin exactly the type of thing tate would call a scam a year ago but now he and his brother heavily promoted it over multiple videos. They even had flyers in their videos. And of course, during the promotion, the price did well. But when it was over, Roost is now down over 90%. Not only that, Roost's treasury wallet got hacked. So the community literally got scammed. And to make it worse, the guy who got hacked was anonymous. So remind me what Andrew Tate doesn't like about crypto again. Oh, the same thing he promoted. But of course, Tate claims that he doesn't hold coins, he doesn't endorse coins, and he makes zero money. That is until other crypto promoters got tired of his grift and called him out for doing the same paid promotions they were doing. But you don't have to believe that guy. You can also look at the time Tate got exposed for trying to get Baron Trump to let him buy Donald Trump tokens at a lower price. In exchange, he'd pump it. Tate promoted something called Binum Blockchain. His brother talked about it on a live stream. Bitcoin, ETH exciting stuff like venom network and of course that price is down as well tate also promoted f madonna token and of course that ended badly too this stuff is such garbage here's another one of tate's coins which is down over 90 percent as well or you can look at this coin daddy token you know which makes sense given that tate is sick of crypto being infantile childish and degenerate and obviously tate had a perfect response to this whole video and honestly it's just very mature this way he actually didn't go back and call him uh, words. This time he became a little bit more mature with his response. I am fucking hilarious. Now, Andrew did make a response, but it wasn't directly. He just started trolling CoffeeZilla Love with other people's, reposting other people's tweets. And I decided to go to his page and update his, sh you know, get updated with his shit and holy fucking shit fuck. Imagine missing out on these giveaways. The Lamborghini was just a tip of the iceberg. October is full of effect. Don't miss out to join the real world. If you're not aware, Tate is going full promotion mode on his uh, $49 a month classes that he's selling to the young youth. It's not only the youth as well. There's also middle aged man, even like people past 60, 70. They're also getting to this whole thing because Tate is telling them what they want to hear. And this was a promotion for them where they give out a Lamborghini to anyone, like a random person who just joined the real world which had donald trump's face all over it because he's obsessed with 
Donald Trump winning the presidency. Why? Because of the shit that uh, Coffeezilla talked about where he reached out to Donald Trump's coin and he told him he'll pump it up if he can buy it at a low price. The system is so rigged that meme coins are fast becoming one of the only ways out. BTC, ethnic, Ethereum are too established for anyone poor to become rich. Alts are boring and never promoted. Education, LOL. A job, LOL. It's cutting edge online education in the gray area of doing anything it takes to make money like jointherealworld.com. It's meme coins like daddy or slavery. Choose. <laughs> I swear to God, at this point, anything. Are you tired of your baby shitting in their pumpers all the time? But join the real world to, you know, your baby not to shit anymore. What we have over here, get ready. I'm about to give you goosebumps in your eyebrows. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself turn into a villain. Michael Jordan. And some of the shit he says on his Twitter is just so fucking random. In 10 years from now, you'll be rich and she will be ugly. So why do you want her back? It's as if woman cannot get rich. Only man can get rich and she can only marry a rich man. And you know, sh she will be ugly. But you will be ugly, What? but with money. And just when you thought things wouldn't get any cringer, shut up, you are mistaken because this is probably the most cringiest shit I've seen Andrew Tate say. I've seen daddy beat mommy. I've never seen mommy beat daddy. Referring it to Iggy's coin, meaning that my coin, daddy is going to beat mommy. I don't want to breathe air anymore, Andrew. I want to breathe Clorox after that statement. But still, he hasn't made an official emergency room for, you know, the meetings, emergency meetings that he has with uh, anyone threatens him or any shit that he wants to talk about with his audience. Very surprisingly that there are still a small portion of people who are supporting this and who are believing that you know, this whole thing is gonna pay off at the end. Now, meme coins aren't like tattoos, which was only, you know, criminals used to do it back then. It was a bad thing. And nowadays it's like stylish. Nowadays it's fine. It's more like, let's say COVID. It was bad back then. It's still bad. Some get lucky and get to keep their senses and the smell and the taste. Now I've seen comments here and there. Some of you saying that I always pick sides. Look, when I make a video, I try to you know stay neutral and just report the news, update you with things and share my thoughts on it. But when it comes to this situation, I trust I fucking hold myself. I swear to God, I tell myself, do not pick a side, just share the news and share your thoughts about what is happening with this and what is happening that. But it is super hard when someone like this comes up and says, daddy beats mommy, mommy doesn't beat that. I can't, it has to come out. I have to roast someone. Trust me, I try to stay neutral and not pick any sides, but I just can't help myself when it comes to like, people saying this, saying shit like this. Still no official response from Andrew Tate. He's still saying, daddy to the moon, daddy to the moon. Let's see if daddy will go to the moon or it will make people file for bankruptcy. One way to tell the time will tell about this whole thing. Like I said in the last video, I have a very strong feeling he won't be here for long. This whole thing feels to me, save as much as you can so we can enjoy our retirement in the next coming months. Do I think Tate is going to respond to Coffeezilla's video after he exposationed him? There is nothing to say from Tate. All he can do is call Coffeezilla homosexual. There's still a 1% chance I could be wrong. He might come up with receipts and actually respond in a mature way this time, but I guess time will tell. It's very highly unlikely that he's going to do that he's just gonna play around goof around who are you you know who i am i'm the top g you can't question me or everything i do is right but anyways as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments below like subscription if you're new here take it easy i'll see you in the next one